Let's gear up for a new episode of Next Stop Fort Pierce that's packed with insights and expertise from some of our most influential voices in our community. I'm Caitlin Ballard, the Marketing and Communications Manager for the beautiful city of Fort Pierce and your host for today's show. Joining us today are three exceptional guests who are at the forefront of helping shape the future of Fort Pierce. First up, we have our dynamic mayor, Linda Hudson, the visionary leader for the beautiful city of Fort Pierce. Mayor Hudson will be sharing her perspective on how a Brightline train stop aligns with the city's goals, fostering growth, and creating a more connected and dynamic city of Fort Pierce. Next in the spotlight is Pete Tesh, the esteemed president of the Economic Development Council of St. Lucie County, EDC. With his finger on the pulse of the economic trends, Pete will guide us through the potential economic boom that a Brightline train stop could bring to St. Lucie County. And last but certainly not least, we're honored to welcome Charlotte Byerly, the Director of Tourism and Marketing for St. Lucie County. Charlotte will be unveiling the tourism perspective, discussing how enhanced connectivity can elevate our region as a prime destination and bring a fresh wave of visitors to explore the treasures of Fort Pierce and the entire Treasure Coast. These incredible guests represent a portion of the driving force behind the vision for a brighter, more prosperous city of Fort Pierce. So join us on the next stop Fort Pierce as we deliver into the valuable insight and potential exciting journey that awaits our community. It's all happening right here, right now. So let's discuss Brightline and Fort Pierce. Hello, Mayor Hudson. Hello. How are you today? Ready for Brightline. Ready for Brightline. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so that's what we'll be discussing today, the economic impact that the city of Fort Pierce, St. Lucie County, and Treasure Coast as a whole could experience from a Brightline stop being in our region. So what, do you, what does that mean for the city of Fort Pierce, Mayor Hudson? I see us uh, connecting with the outside world more than we have ever connected before. And it will bring people to Fort Pierce that have never been here and see how beautiful we are. And it will allow our citizens to travel to other places more easily, perhaps for work or fun. I, ever since we have been talked about and put in our proposal for Brightline, people have been giving me all sorts of different reasons about how they're gonna use Brightline and they're very excited about it. Absolutely, we're excited too. Yep. So speaking of people in, bringing that aspect into it um, when it comes to jobs and job creations. Pete, I'm going to bring it over to you. Do you see any type of additional employment opportunities that having a Brightline station could bring to the county as a whole from an economic development standpoint? Absolutely, Caitlin, and I'd like to share some of my thoughts. Absolutely. First of all, I would just like to say, Mayor Hudson, uh, thank you for your leadership. Caitlin, you're right. You are a visionary. Thank you. I'm very proud to be a, a resident of the city of Fort Pierce, and I appreciate your leadership and all that you've done to, Thank to you. move the city forward. Thank and you, Brightline sir. is a great example of your leadership and coalescing the community together to make the right steps and put us in the right direction economically. So Brightline offers a great opportunity. It's actually a literally a vehicle to propel economic development. And we're in the process of measuring some of the economic output that's going to occur. So a lot of that's going to be um, fashioned upon the type of capital investment is being made, uh, shops, restaurants, hotels, condos, townhomes, uh, more businesses coming in there. So capital investment, consumer spending, government expenditures, and tourism are all the elements that are gonna uh, drive job creation. And uh, as the mayor mentioned, um, Brightline as a transportation uh, method will help accelerate that. And we can get into some of the details on the actual job creation later. Thank you for that information. Uh Increased tourism, having a train stop in the city of Fort Pierce, uh, St. Lucie County, Treasure Coast region, would bring additional tourism, I'm assuming. Charlotte, what, do you, what are your thoughts? Absolutely. Uh, as the mayor stated in, in her answer, this just the increased accessibility 
to the city of Fort Pierce and the Treasure Coast. Um, you know, from my perspective and sharing some existing data with you, uh, St. Lucie County, two of our biggest markets already for visitors come from Orlando and South Florida, Miami, West Palm. Mm -hmm. So now you're giving them another transportation option to get here. Um, so that's gonna just increase, in my opinion, hopefully increase those markets, um, visit, visitors even more. But um, in that same vein, you have two major international airports in Orlando and Miami. And all the international visitors are funneling through those airports in the state of Florida. So the opportunity, in my opinion, to capture more international visitors to the Treasure Coast is going to be enormous. And so we're really excited about opening up the international um, markets to, to the Treasure Coast and Fort Pierce. Absolutely, it's something that the city of Fort Pierce has been working on uh, becoming a travel hub. We have so many things in the works when it comes to the Port of Fort Pierce, the airport, um, our, we're already a train city in and, and that aspect. Um, Mayor, what are, your, what are your thoughts on the transportation hub of Fort Pierce and St. Louis County? Yeah, that's what we are as a transportation hub. We have I-95 and it meets the turnpike and um, we have the Port of Fort Pierce, which is now thriving with director and there will be growth there and interest there. We have an international airport that pilots favor and, and give very high ratings. And so all of those transportation opportunities um, can only be taken advantage of w along with the Brightline stop. Absolutely, that would be our, uh, our next milestone to mm -hmm get the Brightline train stop in Fort Pierce. So thank you for that. Um, I did also want to touch on business development. Could having a Brightline train stop bring additional businesses, resources? How would that look from an economic development uh, point? Pete, I'm going to so let's over to you. Let's, uh, let's just take a couple of examples or scenarios on you know, the mayor just gave a uh, planes, trains, and automobiles <laughs> uh, scenario, which uh, fits very well into the business development phase. But uh, like, for example, the Port of Fort Pierce, uh, Director Shipyards now is a, a very viable entity that's uh, a maintenance repair overhaul facility for mega yachts. So one of the issues about uh, creating more businesses and jobs as a result of that is to uh, connect the vendor supplier network in that the subcontractors and individual companies that do all different things uh, could be carpentry uh, electronics um, you know machinery uh, engine work etc well uh, that's a very thriving industry sector in south florida so miami Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, what an easy way to hop on Brightline and, and bring those vendors and suppliers up to uh, Fort Pierce to work on those yachts. So that's that's one area where I think uh, would be very synergistic with the city, uh, along with the commercial development, and uh, also fostering more job creation in a very, very uh, lucrative uh, industry sector, uh, the mega yacht uh, repair and maintenance. So another example, and um, Charlotte already touched on this from a uh, tourism and hospitality uh, perspective, and the Economic Development Council has been very proud to work with Charlotte and uh, uh, the county tourism effort. Uh, a couple of years ago, we did a, a joint uh, economic impact analysis uh, of the King's Landing project. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Again, part of this would be accelerating the economic growth of downtown Fort Pierce by King's Landing. Well, um, the, the cornerstone of that project is to have a, uh, a world-class hotel there. So, you know, you think about having a uh, an enterprise like a, a very nice flagship hotel that has, you know, several hundred rooms. Uh, you can just think about the direct fiscal benefits and the economic impact to Charlotte's point about bringing people in. So 
um, whether that you're you know developing an industry cluster and building businesses around the marine industry or having a hotel where people can take uh, that trip from Miami to Fort Pierce and Fort Pierce to Orlando all of a sudden you have that conduit that's bringing people and um, bringing people and most importantly money to the city of Fort Pierce and the St. Lucie County. Those are just two examples. We could go on, but I'll stop there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Charlotte, in terms of tourism, what does the city of Fort Pierce, uh, St. Lucie County have to offer its visitors if they were to say, get off the train stop in Fort Pierce? What, what could they do? Well, how long do we have? <laughs> <laughs> let's, um, let's hit some key points. Well, what? you know, first off, um, with with knowing Senate kind of where the proposed station would potentially be, you're in the heart of downtown, which in itself is already a tourist destination. So it's walkability um, to restaurants and galleries and museums. And the marina and the in the waterfront right there in the Indian River Lagoon. Not to mention the recurring events and festivals that take place in downtown, is you know literally within steps of, of getting off the station. Beyond that, um, right now there's you know a free uh, transportation option called Freebie that will take you within a designated area through the city of Fort Pierce for free. Hop in a fancy Tesla and, and tell the driver where you want to go and he'll drop you off. But you can go over to the beaches. You can, um, you know, go to other restaurants on the island. So you, there's so much to do within close proximity of where the station might be from having a, a somewhat urban experience and down in this quaint historic downtown to going out to the beaches, to the marina, um, getting on a boat and going offshore and going deep sea fishing. I mean, that the options are endless. Um, obviously, we have some one of a kind attractions in the area. We have the National Navy UDT Seal Museum, which is over on North Hutchinson Island. You know, even countywide for folks who might be big, you know, baseball fans, we have the Mets that spring train in St. Lucie County every year. So, um, you know, you could take it to Fort Pierce and go catch a Mets spring training game. So there's so much, so much to do. And above all, in my opinion, and, and I'm biased because, you know, I, I do promote this area, but just the the pristine um, natural resources and just the, the landscapes that we have to offer here um, in the county and in Fort Pierce are just really beautiful. So um the inlet and the beaches and just the parks and all the green space that we do offer, I think is going to be refreshing to anyone who decides to stop in Fort Pierce from a from a tourism perspective. Absolutely. And thank you for that. And anyone uh, listening or watching, if you want to see all the things that you can do in the city of Fort Pierce, St. Lucie County, you can visit the to our tourism website for the county. What's visit, that? It's visitstlucie.com. Absolutely. So we can see uh, everything you can do if you were to get off the train mm -hmm. and come spend the day with us. Um, also, Charlotte, I wanted to touch on San Lucie County Tourism Development Council has pledged some sort of ridership commitment. Mm -hmm. um, what does that look like for the Fort Pierce train potential train stop? So we know there, um, you know, with this station potentially coming here, um, a ridership commitment was was uh, important. So as part of the proposal. And so we brought the idea to the Tourist Development Council, who is an advisory board to the county's board of county commissioners to consider um, a commitment of about $250,000. That would be uh, over the course of three years. And essentially what those funds would do is purchase Brightline tickets that we would then package into vacation packages with our other tourism partners. So, you know, in simplistic terms, I'm just gonna really simplify it. Here, we, we're putting out the money to get you here, right? But 
you can add on a hotel stay and you can add on tickets to an attraction and this and that. And essentially it's, it's a package to incentivize visitors to come and check out Fort Pierce in St. Lucie County. So it's a, in my opinion, it's a win-win for all because it's bringing people here. It's bringing, uh, you know, uh, business to our, our local, um, businesses, money to our local businesses and, and just positive economic impact to our community. Absolutely. And, um, and to touch on that, bringing people to the city of Fort Pierce and the surrounding areas um, would be amazing in terms of that that route from Orlando to Miami. Um, downtown is the location that we are looking at. The, the city submitted their proposal for. And if you haven't been to downtown Fort Pierce, I suggest you check it out. We have so we have a picturesque downtown in the city of Fort Pierce in the terms of it still has that charm and old feel, but it has all the amenities and anything that you could want to do with the Sunrise Theater, the marina, shops, restaurants. Um, it's so much fun and being able to share that with the rest of the state in different areas and bringing them in again not only to our beautiful downtown but our surrounding areas would be amazing so that is uh, also something to look forward to Pete, i'd like to talk about the different opportunities that would be presented to businesses in the terms of maybe relocation growth opportunities um what would that look like from the economic you know development standpoint if there were to be a train stop a bright line train stop in the fort pierce area so caitlin and uh, charlotte hit upon this so if you think about the opportunities uh for ease of travel and business creation and entrepreneurship so um south florida is obviously uh very crowded it's expensive. There's great opportunities for individuals who potentially live in downtown Fort Pierce. And, uh, and as the mayor uh, accurately recounted that it would be very easy for individuals to either go down to West Palm or Fort Lauderdale or Miami. Maybe they, they work down there and they live in Fort Pierce or vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, Charlotte gave a very uh, accurate and exciting uh a description of the city of Fort Pierce and it I was excited uh, just to hear about that description about how vibrant and um, you know exciting it is to be in in Fort Pierce it, whether it's if you live here for 10 years or your life or you've been here for a weekend so uh, along with that uh, people are looking for authenticity and downtown Fort Pierce is very authentic so uh, you combine all those things that we talked about, and it's like, okay, I, I can live here in Fort Pierce. I can start a business, but you know, because of uh, very fluid connectivity, I can go anywhere. I, I can hop on the train and uh, you know, go where I need to. So uh, along with uh, actually having, let's say, office space or commercial space that would be developed along with the uh, uh, condos and townhomes downtown or in the, the immediate area you know you think of both the commercial aspects the business uh, generation job creation aspects and then the tourism side because uh, we would need to have a, a hotel or hotels downtown so um, a, a lot of our residents about 60 percent of our workforce hops in the car to travel someplace else to go work so, you know, we want to bring them home and we might want to make it easy if they are going to go down south or to the north. And again, uh, Brightline offers that opportunity for connectivity and then also, also um, sparking much needed capital investment um, and facility development smack dab in the middle of Fort Pierce. Absolutely. I think one of the things that make Fort Pierce so special is the fact that we are growing we're expanding um, but we also have that small town feel and we have the capability to expand even further 
So we have those opportunities and the infrastructure in place to expand to those businesses that might be looking to relocate or, um, you know, do a startup. So the possibilities for Fort Pierce are endless because we are big enough to accommodate now, but we are also poised to grow for the future. So I think that that is a really special and unique feature to the city of Fort Pierce, um, St. Lucie County, the Treasure Coast. You know, I know Mayor Hudson and I have spoken about Fort Pierce geographically being the center of the Treasure Coast. Mayor, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. And we are and have been for a long time. We were originally the commercial center of the Treasure Coast. I think uh, Pete hit on something, too, that um, Fort Pierce is real Florida, and it isn't, um, it's it's vastly different than a Miami or an Orlando, which is an urban area catering to, in Miami, uh, Pan American and international visitors in Orlando, too. But but Fort Pierce is, we, ha we have the largest cattle ranch east of the Mississippi in Fort Pierce, so we are real Florida and it gives people a chance to see what real Floridians do who get up and go to work every day and who aren't always on the golf course or <laughs> in the wonderful Atlantic Ocean which we have too you can do that too we have commercial fishermen you can you can make a living in Fort Pierce outdoors all year round absolutely like I say it's the it's the best place to live work and play Fort Pierce we're lucky to live here we are absolutely lucky um, with that, was there anything else that any of you would like to discuss when it comes to the potential Brightline staff in the wonderful city of Fort Pierce, Charlotte? Just one little thing, and, um, you know, I, I know that we're all hopeful and very excited, potentially, for, for Brightline to choose Fort Pierce, but one other thing that sort of rings, um, in my mind is... Fort Pierce being the center of the Treasure Coast. So there are, and and I just know this, I'm sure Pete, you know this too, because you watch these statistics all the time. So many new uh, residents to the Treasure Coast that have not been to downtown Fort Pierce mm -hmm. and don't know that what it has to offer. So just from a regional standpoint, to bring the per, you know the retired couple that moved maybe out into Western Port St. Lucie to downtown Fort Pierce because the train station's there and they know they can hop on it and go to Orlando. But they're gonna come to downtown Fort Pierce and they're gonna be like, wow, I didn't even know that this was here because some people don't realize what's in their own backyard. So we talk about all these wonderful things about Fort Pierce. There's people that live right here on the Treasure Coast that unfortunately don't know what downtown Fort Pierce has to offer. So I think that's another kind of wall that's going to be broken down mm -hmm. um, should this station come here, spanning from, you know, Palm City all the way south to even, um, you know, into Brevard County, into the northern part or southern part of Brevard County. So I'm excited about that. And Okeechobee, you know, coming mm -hmm. in from Central Florida. Yeah. So um, I know Okeechobee is a big supporter of this initiative. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And to draw just regionally and sort of that encatchment area, right? Um, to draw folks to downtown Fort Pierce is, is huge mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Good point. Absolutely. Well, geographically, um, Fort Pierce is the center of the Treasure Coast. So we have received a lot of support from our neighboring uh, cities, municipalities, counties, um, in favor of the Bright Line train stop being in Fort Pierce. Um, so we're very excited and appreciate their support. And, um, you know, just know that we know that they'll also be affected by this as well, right? So it's not just the city of Fort Pierce or um, St. Lucie County, but really the Treasure Coast. Absolutely. It'll, it'll bring people to the center to where they can be in Fort Pierce or choose a different destination that's local. Mm -hmm. um, so the the impact of that would be a wave throughout the Treasure Coast, which would be amazing. So we're definitely um, in favor of Brightline train stop being in Fort Pierce. Hopefully, fingers crossed. You know, we're waiting to see what happens. Um, 
but next stop Fort Pierce and I just want to say thank you thank you all for being here and providing your expertise I know that you guys um, you really are the catalyst when it comes to economic development tourism mayor our fearless leader so thank you thank you for uh, coming and speaking with us and supporting Brightline and Fort Pierce Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, us. having us. Thank you. For all of our residents, visitors, community members in the city of Fort Pierce and St. Lucie County and throughout the Treasure Coast, if you'd like to support the Brightline Train Stop Initiative for the city of Fort Pierce, please share some positive information online, um, on all of our social media platforms for the city of Fort Pierce and within our community. Um, hashtag next stop Fort Pierce and hashtag FP Brightline. I know the city of Fort Pierce is ready. St. Lucie County is ready. Treasure Coast is ready. So here we go. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm.